septiembre del 2018. So, I'm reading my note for you, okay? Okay. I read it for you. <laughs> it's a letter for you, okay? I mean, this is special, especially for you, the initiates. Yes? Uh, because other people outside, they're doing their good work. They're doing good deeds. They help their neighbors. They help other in need. They help the homeless. But I don't have a chance to see them, okay? But I thank them anyway. I thank them anyway. I thank them from the depth of my heart. And I thank all the country who help those in need, especially the strangers who came to their land. Because in the Bible it says, be kind to strangers, because you are also strangers in the land of Egypt. That was because when God was talking to Egyptian people. <laughs> but this can be also... Uh, broaden into the whole world, you know, like you are also strangers. We are strangers in this earth, on this earth, in this world when we were born. We came from where? <laughs> Understand? So we are strangers. We had no ID, I told you already. So we should be kind to all strangers as long as they don't harm us in any way. Yes, Master. Yeah, maybe like the immigrant of war, in the beginning they might need some help for desperate situation to begin in, but later, when they have job, yeah, they, then they will take care of themselves, yes? This is our duties, to help each other. Actually, we should. Okay, now this is for you now, okay? Yeah, that was a thanking everyone and all the governments who are kind. And now this is for you, okay? Listen well. It's you, you, you. It's the most interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Không có chi, không có chi. Okay. I thank you for your loving wishes and the program that you prepare in my honor. But actually, it should be in everyone's honor. I told already, that's yours. And that's everyone in the world. So we should celebrate it. In the beginning, I was so shy because I thought, oh, you, you celebrate, you praise me, and you make all this uh, praise that was so kind. And, and I was so shy. So <laughs> I don't always attend the Ching Hai Day. But now I'm more enlightened now. <laughs> I think it's all yours. <laughs> it's not just mine. Okay? <laughs> And not it's all for the world, whoever are kind to others. Yes? Yes, Master. I thank also for your card. Eh? Ching Hai Day is a day, it's not my day. Okay, I say it. Uh, it's your day. Yeah, this is for the disciples. Okay, I, I mean for you, the fellow initiates. Uh, Sometimes I forget as a disciple. I don't have any disciples. I mean, I do have a few. <laughs> not a lot. <laughs> if you don't do what I teach, then you're not my disciple. Sorry about that. <laughs> but it's okay. As long as you are vegetarian, you meditate, that's already good for the world, at least good for yourself. And you don't do anything wrong, you don't do anything bad, that is good already, okay? But that's not enough to be a disciple. Hmm? Disciple has more uh, demanded qualities from heaven, not for me, okay? It has to be heaven-like, heaven-like quality, yeah? It has to be God representative on earth, yeah. That's why you know already, long time ago, I, I read a story for you, one of the Sikh Guru, the singer, in his lectures. In India, before the Master say something, there is uh, two or three people or the group singing, you know, singing uh, uh, songs from the holy books, yes, I think to calm people or to rise the atmosphere, I don't know what. It benefits anyway singing holy rhymes, you know, from the holy books, from the past masters. So these groups, there are two people who sing all the time whenever that master gave lectures. So they thought because of their singing, so a lot of people come to them. And they thought that because a master is a master, he can always take money from disciples, and they are willing to give. They even willing to give their life if they have to. So they demanded big sum of money from master. And master said, "I don't have that much." 
<laughs> I just have enough <laughs> to spend. <laughs> and they say, no, you are lying. You have, you know, numerous disciples. Every one of them can give you money. And you are rich. You just don't want to give to us. You give it to us or you'll be in trouble. First in the Master. So the Master says to them, I wish I could have a lot of disciples the way you mentioned, but I have only uh, uh, two and a half disciples. <laughs> two and a half. There's only two and a half real disciples. And that was the first guru, <laughs> the second guru, and I am maybe half of it. <laughs> so two and a half disciples you can count on. The rest are just followers. If they don't make troubles, the Master is already grateful to God, not to talk about if they are disciples or not. So, by the way, uh, I just mentioned it. In case you feel offended, then you you blame that Master, the Sikh Master, the third Sikh Masters, okay? The third Sikh Master, not me, huh? He told that. <laughs> but I confirm. Yeah, I confirm. <laughs> I observed. <laughs> I looked. I confirm. Many cannot withstand one test, not even one or half. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Now, here. But this is something good for you. Uh, you do something good. So you deserve recognition Yeah, in Ching Hai days because it's your day. Okay, I say Ching Hai day is not my day, it's your day. Because you are by my side to help others in need, even if not always physically. You are with me all the time because we walk in the same direction. The direction of love, unconditional love. You run fast whenever I ask you to go somewhere for the sake of others' misfortune people, the one in need. No matter how unfavorable the road or the condition that you have to put yourself in, and sometimes the risk. And I really am very touched because you did that. Many of you did that everywhere in the world, sometimes quietly, sometimes uh, in your own group, and then you report to me, and then we put it on TV. Hmm? We just report it, because we are also the news, uh, news television. Yeah? We report news. We report truthfully news. No matter how difficult you find a way to reach the needy in time when they really are in desperate situation, when their children need milk, when the elderly need medicine, need blankets in the winter, in the cold climate, in cold area, when they all need something to feel their need of hunger and thirst, you run in there for me, and I thank you. I thank you very much. I always thank you in my heart. But today I want to really sincerely thank you for being my arms, my legs, my eyes, my ears, my mind, my brain, to work in such difficult situations to think of the way to help people. I am not proud of the financial or whatever support I can give, I'm not proud because it's too little for my liking. But we can only do what we can because we do many other things. We are not a charitable organization that take in the money and give it to people. We just give what we have. And even some of you give also your own earnings to help people. That I'm very, very grateful too. But I never force you to do anything good. I never force you. I only teach you, but I never force. Therefore, I always take my own fund, my own earning money to give. And whatever you want to, whatever you can, you can chip in. But I have never demand that you have to be good. You must go there and here and give your pocket money to people. That's why I give on my own. Because I know not all of you are also well off. You have family, you have elderly parents, you have husbands, 
you have children, you have other people who need you, who need your financial support. So I don't demand anything from you, least of all for my personal use. So that's why wherever I go, if I take some food from you, I took it so that you're happy, but I repay everything in case you don't have enough money to spare for my meal. And you do what you do with that money. If you don't use it, you can give it to other people or do some good things. You understand? I just give in case, just in case, just to make sure that you are not going hungry because I'm a master and you have to treat me lavishly. And then your children don't have food. Who knows? But you would not tell me your situation. I don't know who is rich, who is poor <laughs> in your group either. Understand? I never ask. Or sometimes I ask for fun, you know, hey, how much you make for that? So much work you do, did you make any money? <laughs> just for fun. But just one or two individuals, I never ask any of you how much money you make. Therefore, I treat all of you the same. But I thank you for whenever you can spare some financial uh, sum to help those in need. But I always do it first, yeah? so that you don't have to sacrifice your family's comfort because charity begins at home. Yes, you need it. You need the money you earn so you can take care of your parents, or your sister, brothers, your children because I don't want you or your children go out and beg in somebody else for help. You must take care of yourself first, understand? So whatever you have extra, if you want to give, it's fine. But if you cannot, then it's okay. I understand everything. I sympathize with all of you because I always love you and understand you because I'm always by your side in spirit. I know you work very hard to earn your money and still need to go meditation huh? every weekend and on retreat even, not have to, but want to. You see, you have to save money for all that day that you are not working, and then you still go out to, to, to help others in need. I really have high esteem for you, and I really understand that you are working very hard on your best, even just to survive already in this world. For some of you, it's difficult. If you really need some help, you can ask, okay? You can ask me, you can write to FG, you can ask me. I do help some also of our group people. But I'm glad all of you are well. Yeah, ah, Bukachi. I'm glad you're well, most of you are well, so that you can take care of yourself and your family. That's, I'm happy enough already. There's no need that you have to go out and do anything. But if you can, then of course it's good for you also. Not just good for the people who receive your help and your love, but it's good for you also. As I mentioned before, even though sometimes situation is difficult where you are going for the charitable work, you still find a way with your IQ, with your wisdom that you have acquired through meditation in the Kuan Yin Method. You find a way, you think fast. You have only one thought in your mind. Master wish to help the, the, the misfortune people. So I have to do something. We have to do something, no matter what. We walk, we bike, we hike, we push the car up the hill in the muddy, rainy weather. Maybe we shiver together to keep warm and work all night or day, all night or day to bring relief supply to the people in desperate need. I know all that, even though I was not always there. I always marvel how you do all this, because you don't go I like the whole group, a thousand people like this. You go just a small group. And how you pack hundreds or thousands of package so that everyone has what they need for the immediate use. It's always brought tears to to me, to my eyes when I thought about that. 
and in my heart, I am always deeply grateful and very proud to have such children of God in my group. I'm very proud of you. I'm very thankful. And in the names of all the people who need your help at that time, I thank you. And may God bless you manifold, even though you don't do it for reward from God or from humans. But heaven see everything. Heaven, heavens know everything, and you will be rewarded. Either now or after life, or your children will get your merit. In Vietnam, that's what they say, you know. They always say to, you know, like the elderly parents, they say, oh, we do this to store marriage for our children. <laughs> yeah? Because marriage, you can always give to your children instead of just money. From the marriage, they can earn money too. They can be healthy and happy and prosper. Yeah, and be someone. Yes. Uh yeah, even in the Bible it says that uh, we even get the bad karma, you know, retribution from our ancestor. So if you can get bad retribution from our ancestor, then surely we can get also married from our ancestor and from your parents. Understand that? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Even if you don't want it, it will come. Nah? But I know in your heart that you do it unconditionally. Just because Master wants it. Just because other people are in need of your help. That's all you think of. I'm sure like that. You never think, okay, I'm going to do this, so my uh, son will get married uh, soon, or my daughter will have a better husband. It's not like that. You never thought of like that. Right? Yes? Yes. Yes, Master. master. Yeah, I know, I know. And it's best for you never think like that. <laughs> Because if we give with condition, then we will receive with condition. But if we give unconditionally, then we will receive whatever we want unconditionally, limitless, manifold, uncountable. It's limitless anyway, you know, if you give unconditionally. Giving not always have to go there and do good deed. Of course, that would be better for the person who receive it, for the victims of calamities in any way. But even if you have sympathy in your heart, you pray for them or you you cry for them, that's also a kind of giving, okay? That is from love. There are many kinds of giving. And I'm proud of you that you have developing more and more love each day through practice of the Kuan Yin Method and through sympathizing with others who are less fortunate than we. No matter what, we are very fortunate. We have heavens to rely on. We have the right livelihood to earn the money. We have the right compassionate food choice. And that is already a lot to be worthy to live as a human life. There is not much more we want. That I didn't write here, but I am just keep singing along. <laughs> Uh, some of that, okay. I am also feeling that you feel what I feel for the afflicted. And you rejoice what I rejoice when we praising or rewarding some someone for their goodness. Even though they are not related to us, they are not in our group, but if they do good things, we praise them too. And I rejoice in that, and you also. And I am glad that you feel what I feel, because we are one. Yes. When you go there, you feel very much in pain and suffering, like the people you are helping. And that is very good. That means you are more compassionate, more loving and kind. This is very good as a human being to develop this kind of qualities. Why do you feel, why do I feel the way the victims feel? Why do we rejoice in other people's good deeds? Because they are us. We are connected. Even though we have lost the ability to feel that we are all one in this earth, including animals and trees and 
and plants and rocks even. They all have souls. They all understand. I fit some squirrel and they were so happy singing so loud in the morning. I said, hey, you can eat but you cannot sing, okay? <laughs> I know you thank you and all that, but you don't have to do that because I need to meditate in the morning. And from then on, zzzz, yeah, and one one or two times they forgot, and they 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 coo coo around because they call each other or happy singing all kind of thing like a chorus. So I even say inside my house, I inside my room. I don't stay. I don't open window. Or tell them. I say, hey, psst, quiet, man. I told you already. Be quiet. And then they just drop psst, quick immediately. No more no more noise. They understood everything. They live in the wild. They're so pure. You know, they're so pure. Their ability to receive message so quick. Truly like that. And they don't ever coo anymore. <laughs> they just come and eat. <laughs> and they love all kind of things that I give. Yeah, I don't always give the same thing. Now. I give sometimes different nuts and different seeds, and I give them corn, you know, cooked, already cooked or fresh. They love them. I jump on them. I have some photos or some videos, maybe someday you may see it. <laughs> they eat the corn and then they turn the corn around to eat the other side. <laughs> That's so funny. And sometimes sometimes they see me peeping out to look and they, they hide it. They just eating in front of the tree in front of me and when they saw me peeping out, they turn to the other side behind the tree <laughs> and eat my corn. I say, I can still see you. I see you your movement. <laughs> your tails are sticking out. I can see your tails. <laughs> so cute, so cute. They understand everything. Oh my God. It's incredible. And there are some gecko come in my house. Even geckos, they understood. Normally gecko, when they see you, they don't run right away, you know? But this gecko, I told them already, don't come in my house, okay? Because you make it dirty everywhere. Stay outside. And then whenever they forgot they came in my house, they saw me, oh, they run so fast. <laughs> like Olympic uh, competitor or something. <laughs> Normally, Gekku, they they uh, crawl on top of the ceiling. They're not afraid of you, no? In your house like that, right? Yes, Master. Normal like that. But now, I told them already, don't come in my house. And if they come in, they just, oh, curl their tail and run. <laughs> run wherever they can. <laughs> okay, okay. I read my letter. Mm. Yeah, because we feel the suffering of others because we've become one with all beings in the universe. Therefore, when, when we see suffering, we cannot bear it. We cry, maybe we scream silently or loudly. I do that sometimes because I cannot bear it. And some of you are also like that. And when you go and, and help the suffering, you feel their suffering. You feel their pain. And therefore, your love grow more. You want to help more even in the future. It's like that. This is like a, a development of love. The more you give, the more you want to give. The more you help, the more you want to help. Because you can see firsthand that they really suffering, that they really need. And what if it's you? What if it's your family members, etc.? Yes, like that. And then, because you know the animals are loving and some of you adopted them, and you see, of course, a vegan is the best way. Yeah, of course, we prefer that we don't have to eat anything. But in this world, we still need it. So eat with gratefulness, okay? Whenever I eat something, I also feel very sorry that I have to. But uh, I take comfort that, that this is created. The, one, the food I eat is created by love. So no plants suffer for me. I realized that after after a while. I didn't know that before. Maybe I have known it. It's just I don't have time for my brain to focus on that. I don't mean I don't know. I mean it's my mind did not know or my brain did not know. But of course I know. You know, my soul knows, my higher self knows. Now that we feel that all are one and knowing good and bad, from the teaching of the Master, past and present, we know good and bad, we know suffering and happiness. We feel pleasure and pain from everyone, or even including other beings, like animals and trees. We don't even want to cut trees. 
if we don't have to, and if without, we never do anything, even cut a branch of trees, we would feel pain in our heart. And we wish that we would help, could help more. I wish that I could help more. So don't think that I am proud of what I've been helping people. No, no, no. I always feel very embarrassed, very painfully embarrassed, to tell you truthfully, because I feel that I do very little, I don't have enough, that I should give more. Yes, but I am the only one. Yes, I'm one person, one person. Very difficult to do too many things at the same time. I do as much as I can, yes. At least I take care of myself financially, so I don't have to ask anyone else. And whatever I have spare, I give. But through your help, you are my hands, my feet. You run anywhere for me. You give anyone for me. You see any need for me. And that's, I am very grateful to you all the time. I know you are working so fast and so diligently and with all your heart when you are in, uh, in the afflicted area. I know all that. Suppose it were me, I don't know if I can do better than that. In such a circumstances, you walk on muddy road and precarious area, you carry bags when you cannot a used car, you go on the back of a motorcycle or ride it yourself or climb the mountains, wade through the rivers in order to bring supplies to the needy. So I know all that, okay? Even though I'm not there, I wasn't always there physically, but I know all the conditions that you sleep on the cold floor, you sometimes can't even sleep because of the urgent need of other people, and you forget yourself even when you're cold, when it rains, you forget yourself because of other people are more in need at that time. Even if we, we fall ill or having trouble during the time of uh, charitable work, we still have a home to come back and recover and medicine. But these people who are in a misfortunate situation, in disaster time, in war, ravaged circumstances, they don't know when they will have the comfort of a home or medicine or the next meal, and you know that. That's why you always work with zealousness, with one-pointedness. That is also a kind of good meditation. When you one-pointedness, you are more intelligent. You have more wisdom. Every good quality will develop. Because you don't have any other worldly thing in your mind. Nothing lowly quality, just good quality. Therefore, everything else, you know, they're connected, all good quality connected with each other. They all develop at the same time. 